Well, several self-help books and speakers claim to have the secret to life, and we could all use a little help along the way, that's for sure. Leadership expert, author, public speaker, Pete Blank joins us now with a new study from Harvard and their secret to a happy life. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you. I've got someone else's book today. Okay, all right. <laughs> Just came out recently. It's called, it's called The Good Life. Okay. It's called The Good Life. Let me get to the camera there. Now, these and are Harvard researchers? These are Harvard researchers. Okay. This is the longest longitudinal study of human life ever. They started in 1938 hmm. interviewing people about what makes them happy. And they've gone all the way through, talked to their kids, ah. their descendants, and they wrote a book okay. about what creates a good life, what creates happiness. And I'm going to go ahead and read to you okay. verbatim, mm -hmm. if I can. Well, as you, and, and longitude you mentioned, you know, Jimmy Buffett, for him, it was changes in latitude changes that made him happy. But continue with the longitude, if you will. It says, people always ask what makes people happy in life. And they said the one thing stands out. If we took all 84 years of this Harvard study and boiled it down to one thing, it said good relationships keep us happier and healthier, period. Mm. It's all about relationships. Okay. Which doesn't surprise me because since the dawn of time, humans have needed to interact with others. So I've got three things I want to share with you today. Yeah, break it down from there. Is. What are we? Well, the first thing you and I were just talking about this was the idea of what does loneliness look like? Mm -hmm. And sometimes we need to be alone. Sometimes, you know, we need to recharge and all that. But loneliness, they found people who don't have anybody. I've got no one to call. I've got no family members. I've got nobody. Those people are going to be a little more unhealthy. They're not going to have as long of a life. They may have some more stress and, and mental issues because they just don't have a single person to call. So let's not, and you and I and, and Jess, yeah. where we're just talking, let's not conflate uh, quiet time for yourself sure. with loneliness. Let me ask this. What if you have a lot of acquaintances, but you don't really have that core of friends? What, how did that... And that's okay. They okay. said that, again, there is an idea of the quality of relationships is more important, the, the more deeper. You know, don't count your Facebook friends as a relationship. Don't count your Instagram friends as a relationship. But it is good to have quality. But just to say hi to the uh, mail carrier as they come by, to say hi to somebody in the hallway. We have acquaintances and relationships with people that may not be deep. They may be superficial. But they still create this sense of, I know somebody. I'm around somebody. And that makes me feel a little, a little happy. I think we've got about 20 seconds. But talk about how this helps with our brain. Health. Oh, they talk about people who have more relationships, their memory gets deeper, they can retain memories longer, and they can remember things. And this is more based on this. Again, this is all scientific. This is not just mm -hmm. Pete thinking his stuff that's out there. So this book just came out recently. 84 years of research. 84 years okay. of research. They're still going now, and it's a really interesting concept. So again, if you're like, what's the secret to life? How do I get happier? Relations. Just build relationships with other people. All right, that's a good motivation Monday, Pete yeah. Blank. We appreciate it. I love having a relationship with you, buddy. It's, 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 it's mutual. It is mutual. I also love hot dogs. <laughs>